The race for operational air-launched hypersonic weapons is extremely critical as their existence could well provide an unparalleled advantage in the realm of maritime warfare. The US Department of Defense is pouring money into hypersonic weapons after years of defense officials' warnings that China is gaining superiority in that arena. But a 21st century arms race is a major risk. Especially without a full picture of Chinese weapons development and amid the increasingly poor relationship between the two nations. Hypersonic weapons, or vehicles and missiles that travel faster than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound, aren't new. The US has been developing and testing these weapons since the 1950s. But there's been relatively little US investment in these systems in recent decades, while China and Russia have developed their hypersonics programs. Russia even used six of its hypersonic Kinzhal missiles in Ukraine earlier this month, the largest number the country has deployed in one strike during the war. Other countries including Australia, Iran, both North and South Korea, Brazil, Germany, Israel, India, and Japan are developing hypersonic programs. However, the increase in funding and tempo of the US program comes as relations between the US and China are the worst they've been in decades. The Department of Defense's proposed budget for Army and Air Force hypersonics development and requisition for the years 2023 through 2027 sits at $15 billion. According to a January report from the Congressional Budget Office, that figure doesn't include the Navy's hypersonics development program, which in February announced a $1.1 billion contract with the defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin to add a hypersonic system to Zumwalt-class destroyers. Defense officials have argued for years that the U.S. is behind China in its hypersonic weapons development, and that may be true. China fielded a test in 2021 of a hypersonic nuclear-capable weapon which at the time took many in the defense community by surprise and showed astounding development in China's hypersonics capabilities. Today, recognition of China's potential to lead in new frontiers and strategic technologies is heightening the urgency behind U.S. efforts and programs on several fronts. In recent years, with the rapid increase of the PLA's modern equipment, the most notable one is the combination of the H-6K bomber equipped with the Eagle 21 air-launched heavy-duty hyperbomb. This powerful tactical equipment made the commander of the US Navy deeply worried. The H-6K is currently the PLA's most equipped modern bomber. It has an upgraded fire control system and can mount many PLA air-launched missiles. Among them, the newly unveiled Eagle 21 air-launched heavy-duty hyperbolic bomb has become the most worrying threat to the US Navy. The H-6K bomber is capable of carrying a wide variety of munitions including the KD-20 land attack missile, the YJ-12 supersonic anti-ship missile and the YJ-21 hypersonic missile. While this weapon has been fired from PLA Navy ships in tests in recent years, it has not previously been cited as existing in an air-launched variant. The Chinese paper cites an YJ-21 air-launched variant for what appears to be the first time in the context of encircling Taiwan with the H-6K bomber. In the past, although the PLA's land-based missiles such as Dongfeng-17, 21 and 26 had anti-ship capabilities, their range was limited and they could only strike targets at a specific distance. However, as the People's Liberation Army ships and bombers are equipped with new sophisticated missiles, the US military's concerns have been further deepened. For the H-6K bomber, carrying the YJ-21 hypersonic bomb will enable the PLA Air Force to have the ability to carry out intensive strikes. With saturated hypersonic missiles outside the defense zone against the US military within a range of more than 5,000 kilometers. This combination of bomber plus superb bombs has caused headaches for the US military. Recently, the commander of the US Pacific Fleet expressed extreme concern about the development of new missiles of the PLA in an interview. He is busy every day developing tactics, techniques and procedures to counter and develop systems to defend against the PLA. Air-launched hypersonic missiles have been fully tested in actual combat. During the Ukrainian conflict, the Russian MiG-31M heavy-duty interceptor used the dagger hyperbole to carry out precise strikes on Ukrainian targets. Even if the Ukrainian army was replaced with the US-made Patriot 3 air defense system, 
it still could not prevent the dagger from quickly and accurately attacking Ukrainian targets. Attack. This further demonstrates the power and advantages of air-launched hypersonic missiles. After years of improvements and upgrades, the H-6K has become a very powerful air combat platform. It has an advanced fire control system and is compatible with the PLA's new missiles. Compared with other models, the H-6K has a greater mounting advantage. In theory, it can carry up to four Eagle Strike 21 hyperbombs. This makes the H-6K bomber more powerful in its firepower output capability and has become a key equipment to enhance the overall strike capability of the PLA Air Force. China has been seeking ways to counter U.S. missile defense systems for decades. China's always felt that U.S. missile defense systems undermine China's nuclear deterrence. Starting in the early 2000s, China ramped up its hypersonics development in response to the dissolution of the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, originally signed by the U.S. and the Soviet Union. With anti-ballistic systems development now unfettered, China felt the need for a different kind of deterrent. Glide-type weapons, which China has tested, are launched from a ballistic missile, the way their system works is you launch a ballistic missile with this hypersonic glider sitting on top of it. At a certain point, the glider separates from the ballistic missile and goes on this hypersonic trajectory, which is in the atmosphere, unlike a ballistic missile, and travels at hypersonic speeds, maneuvers, and strikes its target primarily using inertia from the launch. According to Heath, China says they're ready to deploy their hypersonic weapons, which is a step or two beyond where the US program is right now, so the Chinese do appear to have made faster progress than the US. China's ballistic missile program is also highly sophisticated, given that. And the US concurrent underinvestment in ballistic missiles, it's not surprising that China was able to outpace the US in developing these weapons. Where hypersonic weapons really differ from ballistic weapons isn't necessarily their speed. But their maneuverability in flight and their ability to evade missile detection and defense systems like the Patriot. One of the US most advanced missile defense systems.